saints of God. I pray everyone is doing well. I pray that the Lord and Savior, hallelujah, is blessing each and everyone's day. We thank God for today. We thank God for his glory today. We thank God for his mercy today. He's such a merciful God. He's such a caring God. He's such a giving God. And we thank him for that. And guys, I just pray, hallelujah, that everything that you're asking God for, he is doing it. Everything that you're anticipating God for, every expectation, everything that you're expecting of God, it is being done. I just, I pray that all is well. And so I wanted to, I wanted to, uh, God has placed on my heart to read the word, of course, and then to kind of give a, a, a background or history of, of, of my life and what's been transpiring and how I got to this point here, hallelujah, to the point to where God has, has me on YouTube, hallelujah, professing him, proclaiming him, blessing his name, reading his word, and enjoying reading his word. I thank God for this day. I thank him. So so let's get started. So my name is Brandy and uh, of course you guys have been, hopefully people have been watching me over a few years now. Um, how I got here and what, what I mean when I, when I say how I got here is I mean how I got to the point where I've, I've written a book um, titled The Church Needs Deliverance and uh, how I got there. How did God get me to this point to write a book in such a manner? And uh, it started. Let me let me give you back. So I'm in I'm in my forties now. I don't want to give all my age, you know. I'm in my forties now. So when I was in in college and and a little bit a little bit older than the college years, in my twenties, mid twenties, I was I was out there. I was in sin. I was doing all the typical things that you know sin does you know i was i was smoking marijuana i was drinking on occasion i was smoking the black and milds and li living a sinful life as far as sexual sin and everything like that and so back to the marijuana i was smoking marijuana and i was, was pretty much smoking it every day uh just not really just not even caring just 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 out there wild and crazy right not too not too wild i wasn't ever like real real crazy like but but i would i would you know do that kind of stuff and um and one 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 day and it's amazing like it's 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 it's, it's usually how things happen so i got i got some marijuana one day i don't you know i don't understand like i would just be smoking i didn't know i didn't know, i wasn't looking out for someone to lace it i wasn't looking out for you know, I didn't even know what it was. I didn't even know what laced weed was. I didn't even know what wet weed was or dipped, you know, whatever, dipped or whatever. So I was just, you know, I'm just ignorant, you know, just doing something silly and being ignorant. And uh, one day uh, I got a hold of some, some weed from somebody uh, within, not in my family, but somebody my family knew. And, you know, I, you know, just, just like I said, just, just kind of pretty much recreational use i wasn't like I, I wasn't trying to be in a gang i wasn't trying to feel you know just nothing wild and crazy i would get my little my joints go home and do whatever you know smoke my joints right there or whatever i wasn't out in the streets all night middle of the night drinking and you know all that kind of stuff but it was still it's still wrong it was still wrong it was not what god wanted me to be doing right hallelujah we're not hallelujah we're not even supposed to be putting that stuff in our body anyway but but you know when you're young and dumb and you're uh, you know you're you're trying to you know you don't you don't know too much about you know the saved life you say the sinner's prayer when you're young but you're not really active you know you're not walking in it you're not listening for the spirit of the living god and you just doing out you know i was out there just doing whatever doing the most and so i got a hold of this weed uh-huh how i got here today I got a hold of this weed. Twenty it was it twenty something? It's been twenty something years, maybe now. And but that particular day, it changed the rest of my life. It changed. It, I know it changed the fact that I was I wasn't gonna be smoking that mess no more. I tell you that. 
Uh, and so this particular weed, I guess it was laced. I don't, well, yeah, I do know. It was laced and it caused me to do, I don't, look, I can't even explain it, but it was, it was, I wasn't myself, right? And so I, you know, you know, as you all know, I've, I've been say, I got saved at an early age, at eight years old, saying the sinner's prayer. Um, not, and, and but as I got older, I, I did speak, speak on how life got in the way and sin got in there. Not necessarily because I didn't have a the whole foundation of, of of coming up in the church or coming up in Christ. You know, uh, my parents they didn't they didn't they didn't partake in church. Um, we didn't go to church after I got saved. So, you know, so I didn't have that foundation. I didn't have nothing to, to kind of anchor me to, to, to say, you know what, that ain't the right way to go. Or, oh, you know, that don't do that, you know. And so I got a hold of this particular weed. and I, But something in me, which I believe is the Holy Spirit, was the Holy Spirit at the time, was letting me know that, no, you're not, this is not your route. This is not how you're going to go. Because the enemy how I got here the enemy been, he's been wanting my mind my mindset for a very long time he started when I was young he wanted to pervert my mind at a very early age a lot of the molestation children go through is to pervert their mind to get them off of the things that God has originally in, uh, 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 intended for them to do in this earth realm so the enemy starts at a very early age to, to pervert people's uh, minds so they can go down the road of life and try to go into sin. He wants you in sin, so he starts at an early age. So he started at an early age, and so, but he, but he, but in this particular, in, in this particular sense, he wanted my mind because he knew that God was going to use me, and so he wanted to taint my mind early. He wanted, to, he wanted me crazy, y'all. The enemy wanted me. That was the point of them giving me that laced weed. That was the point of them giving me, hallelujah, that weed that I, I, I don't know nothing about. So I can go off on off my rocker. How I got here today. The enemy wanted my mind. He's been wanting it for years. Because he knew that I would serve God. And the first place you need to serve God is in how you think. The first place is you need to serve God is in, 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 your, in the will. Your will has to align with God. And he knew that. And so if, if your mind is not where it's supposed to be, you're not going to serve God the way you're supposed to be. It's the way you're supposed to. So they put something in this weed. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was LSD, angel dust. I don't know. And so I'm, 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 as I'm, I'm high um, and trying to come out of it, because it took, it took a couple of days before this stuff to kind of to push through my system as I look back at it now. In sobriety and spirit, sobriety and mind, sobriety and heart. As you look back at this thing, so it took it took me it took me a few days for that particular uh, portion of it to come out of my system. But in those days, I, I I was I was crying out to God. I said, you know what, God, I will not do this again. This is not my life. This is not what you have called me to do. This is not who you've called me to be. And God just started dealing with me in the in those moments, right? I, he he put, immediately put me on a fast, not because I was I was high. He put me on a spiritual fast to break this demon off of me. This kind comes out by fasting and prayer. I needed this kind because the enemy wanted my mind addicted too. Because he been when you come out of a, of a family lineage of, of being addicted to drugs and alcohol and, and street life and thievery and, and, and crime, that stuff want to link on to you. But you got to be the one to stand up and break it. And so I said, you know what? I'm breaking this thing. I'm not, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to be what other uh, uh, portions of my family have done. Hallelujah! Not not trying to make somebody uh, make myself look better or greater. No, it's just I I didn't want to live that lifestyle, and some people live it because they don't know any better. But in the name of Jesus, I knew better. I knew God didn't want me to, to, to be a a, a a a a person of of a of street life. I knew God didn't want me. My mind unsober, because he's gonna, he's gonna use this mind. And so in that process uh, 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 of getting back into sobriety, hallelujah, because after, even after this stuff got out your system, out your system, now you still have to 
get your spirit sober because the enemy wants your he wants your soul. He wanted my soul so I to serve him. No, I'm not. And so I had to cry out to the Lord, Lord, please save me, save my heart, save my mind, save my soul. Because I'm telling you, that devil was coming. He was speaking crazy. He was speaking crazy. And I had to fight it with everything in my being. And so, I, I listen, God had me consecrated. I had to consecrate. But even in that, so I knew I needed to, I was in Los, this was, I was in Los Angeles at the time. I was still in California. And uh, my grandmother lived right down the street from a, one of the uh, major churches in um, in California, in L.A. And and so it was just so convenient to go there. Um, at the time, I, you know, I, God had pulled me off my off my job. I wasn't working. Thank God. At the time, to, I needed I needed to heal. I needed to heal in more than one way. More than uh, one way. And so. I had the opportunities to, to, to go to their midday services, get some deliverance, get some healing. And one particular day, we were, we were, this was a midday service, I think a midday Bible study. And we was praising the Lord. And I was I was close to the front of, if not in the front, I don't know of the church. And um, and my the spirit, the Holy Ghost got high in me, and it, I got high, I got like a, a, a I got a, like a rush in me. By the, via the Holy Spirit, which, which I, I, at, at, as I'm looking at it now, I pray it was the Holy Ghost, right? And so I got a, a like a, I don't know, it was something in my belly just kind of bubbled up and got strong in me, and I, and my praise got higher than what was going on around me, right? And I, in the spirit realm, and and I can I can hear Holy Spirit saying. He has given us the authority and the power to tread over uh, scorpions and serpents, and I and I voiced that within the within the uh, congregation. And, it, and I, I don't know if it was a low moment in, in the in the in the service or in the low moment in, as far as in the praise and worship, but I was so high, I was so high in the spirit. I can hear Holy Spirit say, "We have, He's given us the, the authority." the power and the authority to tread over scorpions and serpents, right? And I just, and I voiced what I heard. And, 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 and people around me was looking at me like, but we all in praise and worship. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? And so they was looking and, and, and at that time they said that the, 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 the minister wasn't, he wasn't, they said he wasn't there. He wasn't going to teach that day. And so as I voiced that, and it, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty loud. And I, I will admit that. Uh, so all of a sudden, here he comes out from the back, right? And so now they would say that he wasn't supposed to be there. He wasn't, you know, going to teach today. He wasn't even in town. They said he wasn't even in town. So all of a sudden he comes out the back. Now, mind you, I haven't, I don't, I don't, I'm not church. I don't know nothing about, you know, too much about church. And I just know that I just thought within myself there was a liberty. Right? I felt liberty to speak what I heard the Holy Spirit speaking. Right? Not trying to tread on nobody's nothing, on, on nobody's stuff. You know, I was in my 20s. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing. Like I said, I hadn't I hadn't grew I didn't grow up in church. So I was going back into, into the church because of this experience that I had just recently had, right? And I knew, I knew God has been, he had been dealing with me like, no, we're not doing this. This is not the role for you. You, you're going to live for me. You know, uh, 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 you're going to be my, you know, you're mine and you're going to work for me. Not, not this, this sin that, that's trying to take you out. And so here I am, I'm running into the church thinking, you know, that's, that's my safe haven. That's my safe place. That's my safe zone. Uh, and so this dude comes out of the uh, back and you can kind of tell that he wasn't, he wasn't happy about this particular praise and worship about or about the the word that came that came forth out of me but we were all like it was i don't i just don't i don't i don't understand this but we were all in, amongst each other we were all praising the lord we were all glorified and maybe because it the moment had kind of maybe kind of died down and, and then you know but we were still we were still in praise and worship but i if so okay, the guy comes out the back. He's not happy. 
about that about scripture or maybe he wasn't happy that it was it was like man when i say it was a force guys it was strong it was a force it was a it's something that you can't like that fire that shoots up in your bones it's like you can't even control it and you know my god you just know it's god you know and so the person what he was not happy and so he proceeds throughout the the the, the the thing that he wasn't even supposed to be at, he out of town. He's supposed to, he was supposed to be somewhere else, as they say. Uh, he proceeds to, to try to curse me. He proceeds to try to say that I'm going to die. He proceeds to try to say that, what did he say? Tried to uh, call, 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 call me a Jezebel. And all I spoke was scripture. I didn't, I didn't, I just spoke what I heard the Holy Spirit speaking. I just, I just spoke the word of God and, and everybody else, we praising the Lord together. And I'm like, well, how does this again, how is my stuff so magnified? And so he proceeds to curse me from that stage. He proceeds to say that I, that I, that I was going to die. This is 20 something years ago. He, perceived, he spoke death over my life. In church. There's hundreds of people, hundreds of people there. He spoke death over my life. Called me something that I had no idea what it, what is a, well, I didn't even know what a Jezebel was. Even though, I, I, you know, I've read, 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 read the Bible, but I didn't know what it, you know, I didn't know what it, all, all that meant. So he was, he was spewing out word curses. He was spewing out word curses at me. Instead of, and I, and Holy Spirit, let me let me do this the way you let me say it the way you told me to, to say this. Instead of shielding me, or instead of saying, "Hey, there's a pro, you know, there's whatever an order, whatever, however, whatever you want to, you know, however the the teaching should have been at that moment." He didn't. He didn't. He didn't do that. He went in to cursing then he went into lying on me as as time progressed saying that what did he say that i, I wanted control over his church like bro i don't even know how the church work like man this dude was tripping and he 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 was he's friends with the uh with, with one of y'all's biggest y'all biggest uh churches the big the big one uh he's he's his best his good good buddy and so, uh, so they both got in, 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 involved in this, this situation to try to make me look bad, to try to make me look all because of, 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 of me saying the word of God in that, in that place. It wanted to make it seem like I was a Jezebel, a witch, uh, that I wanted to take the church. I don't even know how to operate a church. What, what do you mean? I don't want your microphone. I don't need, I'm just trying to do, I'm just being free in God, in, in my mind, coming through this, coming through this process. Cause this is all in, in, in a matter of weeks, y'all. This is all with the, with dealing with that situation. I just, I entered, I introduced you to about the marijuana. This is all in a matter of weeks. God is still dealing with me. I'm still being processed out of that foolishness. I'm still being processed out of being uh, 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 poisoned. Glory to God. And But instead of helping me through those moments, if it was wrong, if I was wrong, instead of helping me and showing me the right things to do or the right things, hallelujah, the right manner, you want to curse me and spread lies about me across this whole country. So now when people see me, they or people get in my presence, they, they think I'm what they call me. And these are two, two of the biggest, big name, name churches in, the, in America. How I got here today. So instead of helping me or blessing me up, moving me, oh my God. They wanted to strip my spirit. They wanted to strip who God was calling me to be in that moment. Because listen, you already know God was calling me to be something more than 
more than what you was lying on me about. How I got here today. And so even even that so that time passed. I left, I, I eventually left that church after all those curses that he put on me. I left, I had to leave because I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I couldn't stand a place where you, you, you actively cursing me, said I'm going to die. I don't care if it was spiritually or naturally. That's not something you put, if you stand in front of the congregation and you saying you on a 20 some year old woman still has have the the, the 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 years ahead of her vision vision and life ahead of her you speaking death and curses to stop her and so since then i i i, I would sp sprinkle in a couple of churches here and there once again still not glory to god getting a foundation hallelujah but that didn't change my i still have i it's like over the years god has been building a, a relationship with him but i don't have a i don't i he wasn't building a relationship with the church in me right um i you know i know the church is very important to god and i even i even love her i want her so healthy i want her healthy guys but god was he was not he i guess he wasn't moving in it with me in that area because he, he didn't allow me to kind of stay but I would go to the churches and um, try to get a foundation like I joined a church when I lived in Houston because after after that I'm, I moved back to Houston I moved back to Houston from there and um, I, jo I had joined I had been a part of a church out there um, and so I kind of I, I went there a few times when I was in school and college or whatever so that I had joined that one and that was pretty much my home church there. But I didn't I didn't go I didn't go often. I wasn't always, you know, I wasn't that every Sunday person. Um, but I did, I did go. But God, he It's like he wouldn't let me ain't ain't find an anchor or a church home, right? And I don't know if it's because of those curse words. I don't know if it's because what was done what was spoken over my life you don't I, i'm sorry god when i, I just look at I, I, excuse me i just look at the the, the 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 ministry of jesus christ and he 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 cursed a fig tree that wasn't fruitful right but you don't curse a person that has vitality that has the, the the best part of their life coming up. You 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 structure that. You pull them aside. You get them the, the help that they need. Why wasn't if I was so wrong? Why wasn't there help? If I was so wrong, why didn't you get one of the church mothers to to, to mentor me up or show me a a a, 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 a what does it say a more excellent way? Why 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 wasn't that uh, produced or introduced? how I got here today so the years went on and and then so here I go ignorant God will tell me oh go to uh now I'm in Dallas I'm in Dallas now oh go to uh go to this church over here the two buddies right the two the two peas in a pod go to that go to that church and uh and, and so that one that one, he'd be on the on the stage side eye and looking, looking, you know, looking at you crazy like you done done something like you. I'm just I'm tired of these people calling people witches and, and, and all this kind of stuff that are not that are not. I'm sick of that. I'm tired of that. That has got to stop. We we the, the world and and the body of the body of Christ is where we at today because we've been false. We have falsified so many people's lives. We have falsified so many things. All the all in the name of, of 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 keeping this this stuff. This stuff is this is not what we're seeing is as far as the body of Christ. This is not where God wants us to be. We're seeing all this fake doctrine, this false doctrine being spewed all over the place because we are calling people stuff that they're not. We are 
we are we have missed a whole move of God. I'm gonna be just be honest. The Holy Spirit help me here. We have missed a whole move of God because we've lied on people. And so now those that know how to uh, 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 manipulate manipulate the things of the spirit realm, make it look like they of God. Oh, they in full force right now. They in full force. Sit up there lying to the people of God. They got a whole fake doctrine going on. How I got here today, I've been lied on. How I got here today, Hallelujah! I've been uh, 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 called stuff I'm not I, that I'm not. How I got here today, I've been poisoned for the enemy to try to take my mind, and I ran to the church to get some help. And because Holy Spirit once wanted to use me, you cursed me. Because Holy Spirit, now now that I look back at it, because Holy Spirit had a plan for my life, you wanted to, to you wanted death for me. Because Holy Spirit, hallelujah, and, 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 and he, he does foolish things to confound the wise. That was a foolish thing for me to be poisoned and then all of a sudden God is, hallelujah, his spirit is alive in me. After the days of fasting and seeking and crying out to God, I was doing my duty, I was giving in this word. And you want to curse me because, because of God, because it didn't, it didn't look like what you wanted it to look like. No. No, how I got here today. How many people have been turned away that needed God in, in moments and they've been and, and the enemy been trying to curse them out of their position. And the enemy want to wish death off of uh, uh, hallelujah off of their lives. Wish death on their lives so they can get out, get out, get out, get out of here, get out, shoo, shoo them, shoo them out. And, and those that very voice is the voice that can break the demonic stronghold off of people. But because it didn't look like what you wanted it to look like, because it, the people didn't come the way you want to come in the place, the way you wanted them to come in, you wanted to kill them out of there. And now the whole country, because of two dudes, because of what two people said, some of the top voices in, in America, because of what they said. God is not pleased again. He's not pleased with that. And it took me, it took, he get, took me 20 some years to see it. God is not pleased. But what those two, those two men did to the people in the body of Christ. And he's not pleased because I'm not the only one. I mean, you think I'm the only one? You got a big old voice that, that can move stuff around, that can, can shut stuff up and open stuff up what you think because people listen and hear you they, they see your platform they think you you they think you the one no you know they've done this to many of people taking the heart out of they taking the heart out of they uh out of them the heart for god they've taken it out many of people god wanted to use these people and they, they done lied on them and and and, and cursed them out of their platforms and so now everybody on the, everybody all looking the same, everybody sounding the same, everybody looking plastic. And I'm, that's another thing God said. He He let me come on here looking like this. Hallelujah, with my hair all dried out, face all dried out. He let me come on here looking like this because he knew they was going to judge me by my appearance. As again, they he knew it. So I don't... I can put on cakes and cakes of makeup. I can have eyelashes out to my dog on uh hallelujah. <laughs> I can put that stuff on too. I can I can, listen, I can look totally different from right here. But God did it. God told me to come on just like this because he knew y'all was gonna do what you do. He knew you was gonna judge me because I don't look like the rest of them. I don't have long weave all the way right here, and it's, and it's not. Do if God told you to do it, do it. I ain't listen. I ain't, I ain't judging. I ain't, I ain't mocking. Do what God tells you to do. If He tell you to put on a, a bunch of makeup and whatever, whatever, blessed. Do it. I'm not listening. I'm not the one. I want. I'm. Pro, I told you again. I'm pro life. Whatever Holy Spirit it does for you and wants you to do, I'm pro that. 
I'm pro Holy Ghost. So I'm not here to judge nobody, but I just know what God told me. He said, come on, just like, you, like it is. And all of a sudden, he showed me why he told me to do it. Because he 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 don't want he if you if you, see because see a lot of people don't want to hear like they won't hear you unless you look like whatever what everybody else everybody all set, uniform everybody all the same looking the same and so now people believe that's God all of that ain't God there's some people that got what's that honey and locusts and rough wool but what's the skin, lamb skin hallelujah. Like wool or whatever he was wearing. Everybody not ain't wearing the fine linen. Let's just boil it down. Like when Jesus talked talk about John the Baptist, everybody not wearing that fine linen. Everybody not coming in, uh, 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 uh looking the part that 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 you guys have made up. Looking the looking the way of the world. Everybody ain't looking going look like the world. Everybody not going to do that. So there's some, he said he knew that they wouldn't receive the voices that he, he sent. Because they didn't look like them. He knew it. He knew that. That's why he sent them. That's exactly why he sent most of us. To look a certain way. Because he knew. Y'all would say they weren't God. Y'all would say they was, uh, what is it? Living an alternative lifestyle, I would say that he knew it. So, what y'all gonna do with the next group that's coming? But anyway, so how I got here today is being lied on, being judged, and now God is about to get the glory. God is about to get the glory out of my life. That when I say these people have done everything, they have done everything to stop the people of God. And God is like, nope. They're not going to keep being able to stop people, uh, the people of God any longer. He's, they're not going to stop it. They, they're not going to stop us any longer. Hallelujah. God is about to do a thing. Those that they lied on, those that they, they said they was this and that. Those are the ones he's about to use. And all the ones that was been getting away over the years with all this foolishness. They coming out of there. Get out. God said get out. In the name of Jesus. You, you, you got to go. Because you have done enough damage to the body of Christ. You done done enough damage to the kingdom of God. And all this, these false threats that you guys got going on too. Waiting on somebody to uh, make a mistake. Uh huh. God has ordained people to speak his word. And he's ordained me to speak his word. And to speak what he says speak. So if you waiting on me to fumble and stumble and do whatever. So you can come in and do whatever you want to do. It ain't gonna happen. God is on. God has me. God is protecting me. God is keeping me. In the name of Jesus Christ. People coming to work, y'all. Yes, they coming to work. Let's go. Uh huh. Come on. Oh, they waiting on her to uh, waiting on her to stumble. Waiting on her to make a mistake. Talking about oh you she she better leave him alone, leave who alone? They better leave me alone. In the name of you, better leave me alone. Glory be to God, Hallelujah! I know that a lot of people are like what's that? That's just something that happened in the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. So yes, guys, I've been I've been through this thing. This enemy has tried to steal my thoughts. Still my mind, still my position in the body of Christ. He's been trying to do us for, for a very long time. Very long time, for years. So that's how I was able to write this book. The church needs to live as 
places God has sent me to, to go into, seeing things, seeing, oh my God. Holy Spirit teaching you stuff when you in, in the presence of these thing, of these people and this this evil, this evil that's taken that has, has taken over the church. There's some good things going on. I see. I still see some blessed people, y'all. I I I I ain't denying that. But there's a, a section of this this church that God really wants wants to deal with. Because I'm telling you, if if we was in our rightful spots. What we're seeing in the earth realm it would never it would never happen. It would it would not be happening because we would we we're Jesus left this institution. He left the church here to be like a force within within the world. Like it and 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 it's like it's just what are we here for? Like what if we're not even doing that way, like what are we here for? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't see any real movement. Like, and I'm, a, I'm talking about spiritual. I'm, I'm talking about spiritual movement. Like, where we're just, we're stopping the hands of the enemy, like at full force. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing that on a on a mass on a mass scale or mass level. This is, it's maybe individual here, pockets here and there, which is okay. You know, that's good. But, but collectively, one accord, corporately. As we like to talk about, what are we doing corporately? You know, and that's where God is right now. We listen, y'all. Come on. As you see, the world is doing what it's doing, and we are in this world, and we're not of it. So, the not of it part, we need to be doing something. If we're in it and not of it, we need to be. What are we doing? We just waiting on the on heaven to open up and oh here's heaven. No, we got something to do. We got something to do. And the first thing to do is stop lying on people. First thing to do is re repent that you done lied on people across this nation, stolen their uh, stolen their um callings because it was a it was a bigger calling than yours. Or that people will be saved. Salvation. That's the most that's the most important thing. Souls are being saved. How many lives have been lost because we wanted to lie on people? How many lives have been lost because we wanted to call somebody a witch or a warlock? How many souls have gone to hell because we wanted to wish death on somebody? We wanted them dead instead of I just don't I don't get I hope somebody is realizing this. Instead of if you if you see a person that maybe not be doing right, instead of how 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 do you equate cursing them with death and not help like how do you how do you get from cursing cursing them you go straight to cursing them and not even offering prayer like you didn't even offer like you didn't even offer prayer you didn't even call them the people around the elders and, and offer prayer like you didn't even offer to anoint their heads you didn't even offer that you went straight to death you went straight to curse words. You went straight to saying this person is a witch. You went straight to saying this person is a Jezebel. You didn't even you didn't even offer what the Bible says offer. Those that are more spiritual. If you find somebody in a what do they say? If you find somebody falling or in a fall or whatever, those that are more spiritual, you're supposed to uplift them, upgrade, upbraid them. You know, they went straight to cursing me. They went straight to call, calling me a witch. They went straight to calling me a Jezebel. They went straight to calling, calling across America. Not just one, not just Los Angeles and Dallas. They went across America. They lied across America, y'all. Not that that's how you know who you are. Like when 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 If they don't go straight in to saying, you know what, this this we wanted to help this person, because ch church is supposed to be a safe place, a, 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 a place of, of 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 delivery, a place of deliverance, a place of where you you get your healing. But you add on top, you add death, you add word curses on top of. That's how you know who you are, because I know. 
anybody with some sense would say, you know what, we need to we need to pray. Let's get a let's get a let's get a prayer team together right now. If you feel with the devil, why they didn't go, why did they go straight into prayer? If you're filled with Jezebel, or if you're filled with all this stuff, why did they why didn't they they pray for you? Why didn't they uh, hallelujah go into deliverance? Why did they offer teaching? Why didn't they say, well, let's go, let's go over here? Let's we got some, we got a word. We, we're gonna bless you right here. We're gonna bless you into this healing. If you if you was if you was uh, you know what they said you were. That's how you know who you are. When they go straight into going this other way instead of help. When they go straight into call, saying, uh, 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 trying to make you an outcast, a misfit, instead of saying uh, helping you. That's how you know that God is wanting to use you. That's how I found out. Because because what I what I was what I was experiencing, it didn't look like nothing the Bible offered. It looked like all flesh. It looked like all man. It looked like all Harosha It looked like all the devil. Yep, that's what it looked like. How you go straight to death? How you go straight to cursing? You don't do that. You you offer help. You offer as a body of Christ. You offer love for uh oh oh. I heard that. You offer love first. How do you offer, how you not offer love, you go straight to death. How you not offer love and you go straight to cursing all across this country. So people won't, how does so say? So people will not, uh, hallelujah, be in uh, 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 agreement with this person. You didn't offer no love. You offered lies. You offered hallelujah, uh, the death of their ministry. You offered a curse to their ministry. How I got here today. Poison. Wish death upon. Curse words. Spoken. Calling me something I wasn't. Trying to shut a ministry down. But God says he's going to use it. Hallelujah. I don't know how it's going to look. I don't know where it's going to start. I just know I'm still here. I thank God 20 some years later I'm still here you wanted me dead immediately but God said no I'm still here and I thank him for that and they still trying to run their threats today that's how you know who you are in God they still threatening you today but God is God and he's the Lord and Savior of my life. And I thank him for that. Guys, That's I'm going to leave that right there. Please be blessed. Please pray. Hallelujah. We are, we're seeing some times in this earth realm. Hallelujah. That God said we're, we're going to be. Hallelujah. And I thank him for that. I thank him that his word is coming true. Hallelujah. I thank him that hallelujah. That we will see. The glory of the Lord. The, the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is his word. His word is coming to pass. I don't care how much the world try to push it down and push it away, push it whatever, whatever you want to do. But God's word, word shall come to pass. And I thank him for that. And God said, be used by him. Let him use you guys. Hallelujah. Don't, it don't matter what people have called you and lied upon you and said about you. Be used by the true and living God. Hallelujah. He loves you and he wants to use you. He brought you here. Hallelujah. For such a time as this to be used by his spirit and his angels are with you. Don't let nobody else lie to you. And tell you you're not who God said. Uh-huh. I hear you, God. And so all this curse word delayed. Like it, it's like it it like it, it did kind of draw me away. Like it was still kind it, it was like I, I didn't I didn't go directly into the in the into the ministry into ministry like I was supposed to. But God's still gonna use me. 
Hallelujah. He's, he sustained me all this time. He's going to use me. And he's going to use you too. Hallelujah. I don't care how big the churches are. I don't care how they mega, super mega, grand mega. I don't care. God's still going to use. He got a remnant within a remnant that he's getting ready to use. And mega going to have to get back in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I love y'all. Hey, y'all be, man, for real. God about to do this thing. He's about to show, listen, he's about to show his hand for real. Hallelujah. We're not going to just know his hand. We're going to know his ways. We're we about to see the ways of God, and I thank him for it. Thank you, Father God, for your ways. Father God, listen, God said thank him for judging you. Uh-huh. Thank him for judging you. He is your judge. Judgment, hallelujah, for the body of Christ is not always bad. Hallelujah. The world's judgment is different. But the judgment of, of Jesus of Jesus for the body of Christ is a, is a lot different than how he judges this world. And you thank him for judging you. You thank him for vetting your spirit. You thank him for testing your mind and your heart. You thank him for chastising you. You thank him for correcting you. Glory to God. Be thankful that he judges you. Glory to God. Be thankful that you can't get away with nothing. Be thankful. I hear that thing in the spirit. Be thankful for his correction. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because there's some people fumbling and stumbling around here. They think they own, own God and God ain't on them. If God judges you, be grateful. And you feel with his Holy Spirit and he's judging your heart, judging your character, judging your will. To make you sure you're in right standing with him, be, be grateful. Because everybody ain't getting it. Everybody's not getting this uh, 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 vetting by God. Everybody's not getting this judgment by God. Everybody's not receiving it. But they, but, 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 it, but, it, but it make it look like they are. They know how to make it look like they are. They ain't heard from God in years. For real, for real. Ain't heard from him in years. But they, they can make it think, make you think like they have. God has truly left the building, okay? So be grateful to God in Jesus' name. Be grateful that he loves you. Be grateful that he's anchored you. Hallelujah, that you're anchored in him. In Jesus' name. I love you guys. Be safe. Be, 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 be what God has called you to be in Jesus' name. Get saved and get filled with his Holy Spirit too for those that aren't. Seek God to hear God. Seek God to see God. Hallelujah. Be humble before him. Be great before him. Be, hallelujah, grateful before him. Hallelujah. He's looking for us to be submitted to his love, to be submitted to his glory. Hallelujah. To be faithful to him. Hallelujah. Yes. I hear this. God said, hallelujah. He, the enemy been trying to attack our favor, but he, he can't have it. He, can't, he been trying to attack our favor, but he can't have it. I'm about to get off of here. I've been on here long enough. Satan has been trying to attack our favor, but he cannot have it. We are favored with God and man. In Jesus' name, we pray that prayer. Amen, guys.